What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today we're doing an Instagram redesign. So I haven't done one of these in a while. Last one I did was the Lewandowski one, I think. So uh, we got a lot of feedback on that one and a lot of positive reception. So, you know, I know people like this series because it makes everything a little bit more simple and a little bit easier to understand. So I thought I'd do another one this time, but this time it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be sort of working it out as I go along. So I haven't got the design prepared and made already, which is what I would usually do. So this could go terribly wrong, but you know, it's worth a try. I know you guys want wanted to sort of see sort of a real time design and how I'd sort of cut through things. So I'm going to be cutting out the boring bits, you know, I'm just going to be sort of focusing on the main bits that I've got for you today. I'll pop up on the screen right now what we're doing. So we're going to be doing the Joe Gomez new long term contract design. So I thought this was a nice little, you know, composition. It's got a few different fonts, it's got different pictures, uh, different textures and all sorts of different things that you can sort of go at. So I thought, you know, showing you all these nice techniques, you'd be able to pop that into some of your designs or, you know, even learn from it. So yeah, guys, that's the design we're going to be doing today. Obviously, you've seen that on the thumbnail. So uh, yeah, you probably knew what we we're doing already. But um, so hopefully you enjoy, guys. Make sure to check out the Patreon down below and also the Discord community that we've got going. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. <laughs> So guys, first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at uh, this design. So we've got obviously a red background with a white rim going around it. And at the bottom we've got this nice little bit of tie, which I, I really like that. It's quite clean and professional. So first thing first, I would probably, you know, look at that. Let's go and get a rectangle tool. So we can sort of just go and copy this one uh, like so. There we go. We've got a nice little rectangle and we're just going to move it over to this artboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just nick this color with my eyedropper tool. And there we go. So we've got that color now. So let's just position that right in the middle. So about there. Yep, that's perfect. So already we've made a start. So we've got our background. Now, as you can see here, it's got like a little bit of a paper, papery sort of texture. So I'm just going to go and grab that um, and find, you know, a bit of paper that I've got, you know, in my folder. Um, now, there will be a texture pack available with the link will be down below. Um, but you know, as I'm doing this kind of live, I guess it's kind of live, um, there won't be any texture pack at the moment for me. So I've got to sort of do this myself. Let's just clip that to the red texture and then we'll set this to something like multiply, you know, color burns, nice, darken. I'm going to go color burn because it's a little bit, a little bit less, um, intense because I don't want it too intense because obviously we're going to add a camera or filter at the end. And you know, once we have the camera filter, you'll be able to see it more anyway. Background sort of nicely prepared, same color and everything going on here. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just conquer some of the images. So we've got two images here. So I've got this one and then I've got this one as well. And then this one's going to be the one I'm going to be used for the middle. So you know, this one with his fist, they don't have that online. So it's obviously one of the ones they took in the studio. So quickly, I'm just going to select and subject this guy and then I will be right back to you. So we're just going to skip through this bit because you don't need to see me cutting an image out. You know, it's, it's pointless for you guys because you've seen it in like every other video I've ever done. So um, I'm just going to speed this up, guys, and then I'll be right back with you. You know, I swear to God, they are making the kits even harder to cut out these days. More texture and everything on them, they're just even harder to cut out. I don't know why. Okay, guys, so welcome back. We've got this image finally cut out. That didn't take too long, so I'm just going to sort of position him a little bit more on an angle so it actually looks like he's standing up and then place him in our design. So, as you can see here, we've got he's quite big. Um, we're going to have him probably. Probably around that size, that's good. So that's a nice little size there. And I think I have missed a bit of something out here. So let's just go and quickly layer mask that bit out uh, without taking out all of his hair because you know, he, he is gonna need some of that. Uh, have I got my opacity up? Yes, I have. There you go. Let's just go paint that away. There we go, nice. That's done. So he, he's in there. I'm just gonna quickly uh, contract on him and just make sure that everything is a little bit more seamless and there's no like rough edges around him. Uh, nice okay so we can also clip him as this guy to him as well because we, we're obviously not going to need to uh to see him like that but as long as we've got him in there that's really nice uh and good oh my computer is having a little bit of a okay so as you can see we've got the image in all nicely and done now we need these two on the right side close this image down got that nicely done and cut up let's get rid of that one now we can go and get our other one Okay guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut this image out. Well, not cut it out, but I'm just gonna sort of make it a little bit smaller uh, like that. 
and I'm just going to drag and drop it across. So I've got this one in here now. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to get a frame. So in here I've got some Kodak frames, so I'm just going to drag and drop these in. These are just ones I found online. You know, they're not. You don't have to buy them or anything. So um, I will leave them in a link down below, obviously in the texture pack. So if we can just go in here and we can sort of just you know position this about where we think it's right. Let's just have a quick look at this one. So they've got him on a little bit of an angle, a little bit different. So maybe let's just go like that, a little bit like that. And then there we go. So now we can select this Kodak frame, which is what I've done here. Then layer mask this out and then go invert. So now we've got the frame around him. So really what we need to do now is we need to just go around, paint the rest of this away. Just slowly paint all that away. And then go all gone. Go up here. There we go. Nice. So now the image is in the frame convert that to a smart object now we can probably convert that to a smart object as well or just turn it into a group so now we're going to sort of just go along here sort of make sure it's the right size I'm just going to put it down here about there move it on an angle a little bit and I've just noticed that the Kodak frame is white on this one so I'm just going to go command I invert it there you go white frame nicely done uh, and then we're going to go get this second image now so we can close this one down now don't need that anymore and then we've got this one here. So this one, again, is a little bit more close up. So it's going to be right on his elbows. So I'm just going to go in and probably cut it about there, I would say. It's probably a good good place to cut it. Um, convert that to a smart object. And then I'm just going to drag this one across as well. So this one, it's got a little bit of a fatter frame around it. So I'm just going to see if I've got one of those. I think I do. I can use something like this. This this will do fine. Um, because it's not, it's not going to be perfect, guys. But something a little bit fatter would just to emphasize it would look nice so let's go and drag this one okay so we've got that one now let's go and put that one down here stretch it down a little bit make sure it looks like it's a, a bit of a longer image and then we can group this one together as well and call this frame two and then we're just going to make it a little bit smaller so as you can see here on this one on the left it's like just reaching the top of his hairline so something around there is good and then we can sort of move this below here and then move it below that one there we go, we've sort of made that nice little effect that they've got going on. But the frame one is a little bit too high for my liking because it's, it's, it's only meant to be just, you know, reaching over the top, I guess you could say. So we'll have it about there. That looks nice. Still see most of Gomez. You know, he's looking good. I'm just going to layer mask him out a little bit because I can see that I've roughly cut his arm out and that's really bothering me. Okay, so this is this is what you would do. If you were a designer, you would, you would sort of go through and just pick out these little bits that, you know, are bothering you, that don't look right, stuff like that, really. Um, that just don't look correct at this moment in time. So we've got that done. Okay, so, right. Uh, I'm just going to make these two frames a little bit smaller because I, I've just, you know, I obviously know we're going to have to put some text in, but I know we're going to have to put some text in around the bottom here. And this is, this is going to be quite a little bit, quite fat. No, it's going to be quite a fat shape. So I'm going to go in now. We're going to get our, oh, do we want a rectangle tool? No, let's get a polygon lasso tool and we're just going to copy this shape. So we're going to go over like this, like this, down here like this, and then select that. So we've got a shape now. Now I'm just going to go solid color and obviously we want this white. Okay, and now we've got our white solid color. Okay, so now we can drag this across and, and just, you know, there we go. We've got a seamless, nice little uh, bit of color going on there now. So we've got the frame. We can put the frame above it and move these up a little bit as well just as i said before they're going to need to be moved up just because you know that's that's how this design works that's how liverpool have designed it make him a little bit bigger maybe okay so now i'm going to go do the same what i just did with the frame here and i'm going to go and copy this red shape here so same again just go over it with your polygon lasso tool there we go nice little uh, red rectangle select that color there we go so let's move this onto this one Move it down a little bit. Make sure it's just interlocking with the uh, the white. That's nice. And make sure here. You want to make sure that it's just good, uh, bleeding over, so you can't see any red like outlines or anything, because you, you really don't want that. That, that just looks uh, rough and not very good. So just zoom in. Make sure that it's all like connecting with each other. Looks seamless. That one's a little bit off, but I I can't really notice that. But hit this side's perfect. So I'm going to leave that for me. But you know, if you're doing this for yourself. And obviously for a different player, something, you know, that you want to look very professional and clean, take your time with it. Okay, so we're going to do one more. Now this one's going to be the nice red that we're going to go. So we're going to go solid color again. Uh, pick out that nice, uh, nice vibrant red. 
There we go, got it across, and then we're just going to go down, 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 until we uh, connect with the bottom of the white one. Okay, guys, so that was really simple. Now we've sort of copied across their sort of type layout and, you know, this blocky color that they've used. Uh, it's looking really fresh and clean. Again, I just want to make sure that that is hanging over the white just, or just enough, otherwise it just looks a little bit rough. I don't know why that is being so annoying. There we go. There we go. Okay. Nicely done. Okay, so we've got our little type placement here. And obviously we're going to need this, like, you know, square. So let's just go and get a rectangle and just drag and drop over that. That would be nice. As you can see, they've got a little bit of um, a little bit of opacity going on. So what we can do is we can select that. Obviously drag and drop it. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller on mine just because, you know, my image is a little bit different than I'm working with. So, you know, unless I move it over a little bit more. Um, we can make it a little bit bigger, I guess. There we go. I'm just going to reduce the opacity to maybe like 80%. So now you can see his top a little bit like they've got there. But you can also see that the red square is there. So that's pretty much what we're going for there. Um, got the image. Got these all in place. That's good. So now all we need to do is the typography and then add some texture over this, which will look really nice. I'm going to go and get a block font. Now, I'm not going to have, you know, fonts exactly the same as this. Um, because you know that's just that's just how it is I don't know what fonts they used um, it's gonna be a little bit of guessing but if you can get something that's um, close enough to it then do that but if not if you want to ch completely change it I don't know um, then change it but usually when I'm doing something like this I want to get it sort of as close or you know even if I can find the font to be honest I, as close as possible um, but if not then it'll be fine but that one looks pretty good What's this? Aeron. That's that's a pretty good one. That's pretty close. I quite like that. If anything, I might like it a bit more, to be honest. Let's go through and have a look at some of my other fat fonts that I've got. That one's quite nice. No, not fat enough. Ooh, that one's nice. That one's pretty close, actually. Apart from the E, which is a little bit off. Hmm, so Azo Sans Uber. That one looks good. Let's go through, keep looking at these. This is the thing, guys. When I'm doing this, obviously, by myself, I'm not doing it live, so I can just sit here and and skip through these all day but i know you guys are watching so this is sort of what i would do i would sort of go through just have a look what fonts i've got at the time find something that's pretty much dead on to it and then move on so i think we are going to go with the uh the uh uber sand i think it was i think that one was sort of the closest that i've seen in my font uh pack yeah let's go back up to that one just quickly change where is it yeah let's go for that one Azo Sans Uber. Yep, that's good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this. So drag and drop that. Type Gomez. So obviously this is going to need to be a lot smaller. But also we want a high font for this one. So um, I'm just going to have a look. See see what ones I've got, which are quite, you know, thin, condensed fonts that might look somewhere near. See that one? That one's just not right. That's, that's too condensed. But that one, on the other hand, is quite good. So if we make this a little bit smaller now, but then we increase the uh, the kerning between the letters, so this just increases the spaces between the, the text. So if we go like that, and then like that, and move it up forward, we've basically got the same font. Yes, theirs is a little bit thinner. Um, you know, you could you could mess around with this all day, guys, and, and, and find the right font. But, you know, just doing something like that fairly quick, you know, you've just balanced your fonts out. You've checked out which ones that, you know, matches the best. And you found something which you know works for your design because you're not going to get exactly the same design as them because that's just the way it is you know that's that's uh that's design so if you can get something that's close i really do recommend just going with it uh because again you don't want to look exactly the same as theirs but also you want to make sure that you're doing something you know that uh, works for you and it's not taking you too much time so there we go guys we got that now i'm just going to move the gomez up a little bit closer and maybe like there and I'm just going to make sure that this is a little bit smaller. Or maybe not too small. And align them. There we go. So that's the box done. So this is looking quite good now. We've got something that's quite close to what they've got. You know, it's always going to look a little bit different because the images aren't exactly the same. But we've got stuff that works. That's the main thing. So now the text at the bottom here. So new long-term contract. It's going to be something, um, you know, this is going to be a serif font. Um, but... It, problem with serif fonts is there is so many of them so it, it's going to be a little bit harder to match this one up i think 
Uh, you know, I've got fonts and everything that are, you know, similar to this, but they're not, they're not going to be like exactly the same as that, which is the annoying thing. So let's put it up here. Let's reduce the uh, kerning to zero. And let's sort of start going through again. Now my fonts, I know you'll probably think they're really laggy on the side of here. It's just something that happens with Macs. When you have a lot of fonts, it, it just seems to, the computer just has a meltdown, especially when you're recording a video as well, which uh, doesn't help the computer. Um, so let's have a look with what we can get here. Um, see, this is this is one I usually go with, and it's kind of annoying me because it's on the wrong artboard. But let's just go and uh, reduce the size of this a little bit. So with this one, that you've got here it's a little bit more sharp angled so you want to make sure that you find one that's you know sharp professional old basically old school that's what they've gone with here um th these aren't modern fonts obviously i hope you guys know that uh so baskerville's quite nice again a little bit thick I want something that's very simple clean see i really i really do like that like that's a that's a really nice font but it, again it's it's just not the same uh, again, not really the same. I've got loads of these fonts, so we could be here for a while. I'm probably just going to skip through, guys, while I find the right font for you. Okay, guys, so I think I'm just going to go back up here and go to one of my fonts that I saw before. Something that, you know, I usually use for this type of font just because it looks it looks better. And, and to be honest, I'm not a fan of the one they've gone with. Maybe not Bodoni, maybe even just one of the simpler ones with a fatter bottom. Yeah, maybe something like that. I think that would work nicely. Now oh, that one's quite close. Let's go for that one. Do they have a bold? Semi-bold? I think semi-bold looks good. Make sure it's sort of similar size. Yep, move this one across. And then we need to just nick this color as well. Okay, so it's not gonna be perfect, guys. Like I said to you before, it's not gonna ever be perfect. Like, it, it's just the way it is, you know? Unless you're working for Liverpool, you're not gonna have these fonts. So, um, you know, you just gotta live with it, to be honest. So, contract now. Change this to white. Again, this is going to be a lot smaller below here. Right, this is a really basic font. So I'm just going to pick something that looks very basic, to be honest. Only thing I can see is that the C goes very high. Okay, there's the middle. It's nice. And let's go along here, sort of drop that in the middle. Nice. So for this one, they have made it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do like about a 400 curling, so this space it out a little bit, and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, and then just sort of maybe angle it a little bit, a little bit, so it fits the uh, the sort of the style that the red's going across. So then it sort of fits with that nice little uh, block red color. So that's really nice there. Um, now we've we've pretty much got it there, guys. We just need to add this bottom one at the bottom. So I'm gonna use the same font because I'm pretty sure that's what they've used. So I'm going to go down here, make this one quite small, change it to the uh, same grey as before. Type Joe Gomez, make sure it's obviously a lot smaller this time. So here they've got a nice, really nice small one. That's just how it is. And then this one, we're going to make sure that this one's got no angle on it. So let's go like here, get that in the middle. And then I've already picked up in my downloads a nice little England flag. So this one's going to be England flag. Drop that one in, put it nice and small. Get them on either side of this little bit of text here. Got one there. And there we go, guys. That's pretty close. I'm actually pretty happy with that. You know, it's not perfect because I don't have the exact fonts. But, you know, what we've done here, we've put together basically the same design as Liverpool. So, you know, some of the fonts are a little bit different. You know, some of the images are a little bit different. But in regards to actually getting it as close as you can just by yourself. See, this is how easy it is. This is is. I've just done this by myself right now. So, all I've done you know, is really just play around with some text, added some images in and some, you know, Kodak uh, placements. Okay, guys, so now I'm just going to go and put a black layer over this. So I'm just going to convert this to a smart object, black layer, and then we're going to go to filter, add noise. Uh, so we're going to add probably about, they've added quite a lot on there as I've seen. So I'm probably going to add about 20. So go with 20. And let's just uh, set this to screen. Maybe even linear dodge add. I think that's good. Maybe maybe even push this up to 25 because we might want quite a lot of you know noise on this. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go to this image of Joe Gomez and I'm going to add a drop shadow on him. Let's just see if we can get something quite nice here. So a nice little drop shadow on the back. Quite big. That's good. Just to make it look like he's actually in the scene. Now this is a cheat way. It's quite a quick way of doing it. But 
it's something that works really nicely usually so uh got the text at the bottom that's really nice uh what else do we need to do we're going to add one i'm going to add a selective color as well so let's just go and add a selective color now make sure that the selective color is obviously underneath the um underneath the uh the noise layer uh, and then we're just going to sort of play around with this and make sure that we've got a nice nice sort of ready effect like they've got on theirs because w currently we don't have that we, we have quite a uh, I don't know what the word is quite a yellowy tinge to ours and we don't want that we want to make sure this is nice and red uh, let's go for that get rid of the yellow more pink more cyan that's really nice and then again with the neutrals we can just bring that a bit darker yellows get rid of that you don't want to get rid of all of them others you'll make it quite pink let's go for something like that like that there we go. So now we've got something going on here. So if I turn that on and off, you can see we've got a nice ready background. And when we take this into camera or filter, which is what I'm going to do now, we're going to have an even better look. So now we can get rid of sort of their design. So I'm just going to go and delete that artboard. Uh, just delete that. Uh, there we go. So uh, I'm just going to ungroup this as an artboard. And oh, maybe not. Let's just keep it as an artboard then. <laughs> so we've got that done there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a screenshot of this. So let's just go up here, convert to a smart object. And then what we can do, camera or filter. Okay, so we've got a little design here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a nice bit of contrast, I think, with this one. Because theirs was quite contrasty. Also, add a little bit of expo exposure to make it a nice and bright on the one side of the image. Because that will make it look really nice. Highlights you can bring down a little bit. Shadows up a little bit. Just do this with both the whites and the blacks. And then texture, I'm definitely going to boost this up, I think, because their design was very noisy and very grungy, which I really liked. I really enjoyed that. So I'm going to put it up to about 20. Clarity, again, put that up to about 20 as well, because we haven't really done much with these images anyway, so it's not really going to affect the final design. Uh, okay, so we got that. Then we're going to do a sort of a dehaze, uh, and then we're going to bring the vibrance up probably to about 25, I would say. Yeah, that's good. And then we go to our curve layer, play around with that, make sure it's sort of as we want it. Sharpening, again, probably about 25, maybe a tiny bit of noise reduction. So about 10, that's good. Color noise, obviously boost that one up to full because you don't want any of that going on. And now we can play around with the red. So I quite like this sort of pinky red going on. Uh, it's looking good to me. So I'm just going to play around with that, maybe bring a little bit of orange into it. And then go to the saturation layer. I'm just going to reduce the orange because I want this to be quite sort of pinky red, not, not so much yellowy red because it doesn't look as good, I don't think. So we've got that done there. That's all done. Don't need to mess around with any more colors, so we can leave that. Color grading, don't need to worry about that too much. And then if you want to add some extra grain just to put it a little bit more grainy, that's good. And then obviously you want to add a vignette in the middle. So I'd probably say about, about six vignettes, nice. That's good enough, because then you can see the paper texture and everything coming through. So I'm gonna increase that a little bit and then look at the before and after. You know, we've definitely got something going on there. We've got a nice little image, more clarity coming through. All the images are working nicely. Maybe it is a little bit too much noise, but when you come out of the camera filter like that, you can see, you know, we've got a really nice design there, guys. So hopefully, you know, you've, you've, <laughs> you've seen my process now. So you've gone through this with me. Um, this is how I would usually go about, you know, thinking about how someone would have designed something like this and sort of ways that they would conquer it. So, you know, I haven't used the same fonts. I haven't used the same images apart from two of them. Um, but I've gone with what their concept was and I've done my own version of it, which I'm really happy with. You know, I hope you've seen this and you're like, oh, I can take some of that and I can put that in my own design. So yeah, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Now, um, make sure that you have subscribed because re uh, soon I'm going to be doing a rebrand and a whole new look on the YouTube channel. So it's going to be getting bigger and better, um, you know, it's just going to be so much better than it is now because currently it's a bit of a mess. I can't lie. I'm sort of working through that as we go while I work at the moment. So, um, yeah, look out for that. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, obviously, smash that like button. It really helps out the uh, YouTube algorithm to find these videos and for more people like you to watch this video. So, guys, without further ado, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you next time.